A very good morning to all my dear students. Welcome to the class six subject computer. In the previous class, we have studied about the introduction of the computer, the basic operations that a computer performs, the application of the computers, organization of the computer components. In that, we have studied about the input units like barcode reader. OMR that is optical mark reader, OCR that is optical character reader and MICR that is magnetic ink character reader. So now we will move further to the output units. Output units conveys the information from a computer to its user. It means that the output which the user want is shown on the output units. The various output units are monitor, LCD projector, printer and plotter the first one is monitor a monitor is used to display the images that a program generates like television it has also a cathode ray tube that is crt a cathode ray tube to display the images on the screen now monitors are available with flat panel using liquid crystal display LCD that is liquid crystal display and LED that is light emitting diodes to produce the images. Nowadays you can see that the television or the monitor screen are coming very thin. It means they are called flat panel. Now LCD TVs and LED TVs are coming into the market. It means that the thick panel, it means that they are very thin and it can be hanged anywhere on the wall. In the same way, monitors also are having the flat panels like television. So that flat panels, it means that thin TV or the thin monitor is called the LCD that is liquid crystal display or LED that is light emitting diodes. Okay, so first output unit is monitor. The monitor is used to display the images or the videos or the text that the computer program generates. It means that what processing is done by the CPU, it is displayed on the monitor. It means that the user can find the output of the various input. It means that whether it can be the audio file, it can be a video file or it can be a text or anything else. It, in short, that the output or the result is displayed on the monitor screen. Therefore, it is called the output unit. Now, the second output unit is LCD projector. A LCD projector is a type of video projector for displaying video images or the computer data on the screen. It is commonly used in organizations to display PowerPoint presentations during meetings. It means that on a white wall or the white surface, the LCD projectors are used. It can be work like a computer screen. You can just add your file into that projector and when you will run that file, you can display the output or their file or the video images on the white wall or the white surface screen. It means that you can see the output everywhere or anywhere wherever the white screen or the white wall or white surface is there. It is most probably used in the PowerPoint presentations during the meetings. In nowadays education system also LCD projector is used. For teaching purpose a teacher can also use the LCD projector. He or she can also make the PPT that is called the PowerPoint presentation to explain the students in a very good manner and that is possible using an LCD projector. Now the third output unit is printer. In computing, a printer produces text and or graphics of the documents in an electronic form, usually on paper or transparencies. Many printers are primarily used as a local peripherals attached to the computer by a printer cable. Here, if you want the data in a hard copy on paper, then you use the printer. For example, in computer, if you had made a document or any text file or any video or any image you have created in a computer and now you want it on paper in the hard copy, then you have to use the printer. A printer is attached to the computer using a cable. It means one wire is used to attach the printer to the computer. After that, you have to give the print option. Whenever you see 
that image you want the print of it or you want the print of your word file or any of your document you have to click on the print option but remember that your printer should be connected with the computer the printer is connected with the computer using one cable so that if your printer is connected and you give the print option then finally that image that document or the text will be available to you in on paper on the hard copy you can find that image that document that text on your hand okay is it clear the use of printer so that is the third output unit now we will move towards the fourth output unit that is plotter a plotter is a computer printing device for printing vector graphics plotters are used to create high quality graphics visuals charts graph tables or diagrams in short that if you want the vector graphics it means that if you want the image of the charts you want to draw the graphs the tables the diagrams or any type of graphics you have to use plotter the plotter is also the printing device like the printer but in printer you cannot find or you cannot get the accurate cutted pictures it means if you want the graph the chart the table or diagrams in the printed copy then you have to use the plotter so that is the fourth output unit okay so here we have studied about the four output units now we will move further to the cpu that is called the central processing unit the central processing unit that is cpu is the primary element that carries out each instruction of a program in the sequence to perform the basic operations of the system in other words it performs the arithmetic and the logical calculations of the data the cpu is capable of storing enormous amount of data and processing them at high speed and producing useful results now let me explain you in a simple work that what is the use of cpu okay so first cpu stands for central processing unit for example if you want to perform any calculation then first you open the calculator or you type your input you give your input using the keyboard and the mouse finally where the operation performs as a human being we have brain so we perform all the calculations in our brain so cpu is called the brain of the computer it is the mind of the computer without cpu no instruction or no calculations are performed so finally if the user want the sum of anything or want to give input the input goes to the cpu then the cpu performs the calculations or the operations as per the demands of the user so what the user will give the input as per it the cpu perform various operations or calculations so after that the result is gone to the monitor or the printer it means to the output units so cpu is called the brain of the computer it is used to perform various operations it processes your data and give you the effect effective and the accurate result is it clear now we will move towards the components of cpu the cpu has three components first one is alu that is arithmetic and logic unit it performs the arithmetic and logical operations it means that arithmetic operations like plus minus multiplication divisions this all are called the arithmetic operations and logical operations like or and true or false conditions so arithmetic logical unit is used to perform the arithmetic and the logical operations second is cu that is control unit it attracts the instructions from memory decodes and executes them it means that it takes the instructions from the memory then decode it for example a computer does not understand the human language a computer understands its own machine language so when the user give the input in a human language it is encoded or decoded in the machine language it means that it takes the data from the memory first it encode it to the machine language after that it again decodes it it means change again the data into the human language and then finally execute stamp and give us the output in the human language so that process is done by the control unit that is cu now the memory unit that is mu a computer has a large storage capacity it means that it can store 
the large amount of data the storage capacity of a computer is called its memory so where it stores the data like a human being we store everything in our brain so brain is called our memory like that the computer has its own brain so that brain is called the memory so a computer is able to store the large amount of data in its memory so this memory is called the mu that is memory unit memory enables a computer to store the data and instruction there are two types of computers memory how many types of computers memory are there first is primary memory and second is secondary memory so there are two types of computers memory a computer can store the data in two types first is primary memory it is also called the internal memory so the primary memory is also known as internal memory it is the main area in the computer where the data is stored so a primary memory is called the main area it means the main function the main data where the computer is stored this memory can be quickly accessed by the cpu for reading and storing it means that this memory is directly accessed or it is very easy to access this memory for reading and storing the data there are two types of primary memory first the memory unit is divided into two types first is primary and second is secondary now in that also the primary memory is divided into two types first is rom that is read only memory it means that you cannot write the data or you cannot edit the data if the data is stored in the read only memory second is random access memory okay so now we will move further to the secondary memory it is the external memory where the data and programs are stored for the long term it means a secondary storage is also known as a permanent memory it can store the data for a long period of time the secondary memory is non volatile it means that the data is stored permanently it is not directly depend on the power supply it means that directly it is not work on the power supply if the power is cut then also your data is maintained while in the primary memory when your once your computer is shut down it means that once your computer is turned off you cannot get the data if it is not saved while in secondary memory the data is stored permanently even after the power supply is cut off then also your data will be safe but it has much larger storage capacity as compared to the primary memory and it has the large storage capacity it means that it can store the large amount of data than primary memory the hard disk compact disk cd dvd that is digital what versatile disk and a pen drive are the example of secondary memory devices which are the example first one is hard disk that is in the cpu second is cd that is the compact disk third is dvd that is digital versatile disk and a pen drive these all are the examples of secondary memory devices you have already studied about this devices in your previous classes okay it is all for today now we will move further to the characteristics of a computer and the advantages of the computer in our next period till then study well bye bye have a great day ahead